Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am in the best mood this morning. I feel like it has just been the perfect start to the perfect spring day. I have been enjoying my morning coffee outside and this has actually been the first day this year that I have been able to do that and honestly it has just filled my cup excuse the pun but it has filled my cup and i'm just feeling so ready for the day these like fresh spring mornings are just my favorite i had my dressing gown on because it was a little bit chilly but just sitting outside listening to the bird song soaking up a little bit of vitamin d and just saying hello to the day i feel like i've become a bit of an earth mother and especially with regards to like all of the gardening that i'm doing at the moment and how much like grounding i'm doing within nature it has been so so lovely to start my day that way so as you can see i'm in an excellent mood this morning i'm also in an excellent mood because i don't know if you can be able to see i actually do feel a little bit like half naked coming on here chatting to you guys because i don't actually have any of my jewelry on at the moment and you guys know how important my jewelry is to me especially ever since getting engaged i feel like my love for like layering and stacking and jewelry styling has just been reignited and it's been so lovely it's styling things up a little bit differently to how i maybe would have done before now that i've got the beautiful engagement ring and i am so excited we have some new pandora pieces that two unbox together and i'm so so excited to show you what is in this haul now you guys know i have been a pandora ambassador for about a year now and it has literally just been the most fun year ever i have literally worn pandora jewelry since i was about 15 16 i do remember alex bought me my first pandora bracelet and this is something that i always say to him he's always had really really good taste in jewelry which is why i wasn't surprised when i saw the engagement ring and how beautiful it was because he bought me my first pandora bracelet he's bought me all of my favorite jewelry pieces have come from him he has great great taste and he always attributes my ambassadorship he always says to me aren't you lucky that I bought you that first bracelet? Like you have me to thank for this ambassadorship and I always laugh at so much whenever he says that because yes, he really did kind of start my love for Pandora and really did start this like obsession with their jewelry and I just love layering, styling and stacking their jewelry pieces. And I'm so, so excited to let you know this video is actually gonna be sponsored by Pandora within my ambassadorship. Obviously I've been doing my ambassadorship mainly on Instagram, but we love chatting jewelry over here i've had so many comments so many messages from you guys honestly it's my favorite thing when you send me in pictures of your own stack you let me know what you've been buying what you've been picking up like i cannot thank you guys enough for how like friendly and lovely this community is like i really do feel like i'm chatting with friends every single time i pick up my camera and i love it when conversations move over into like dms and comments and things like that because i feel like we can get really like deep with our chats and we can get a little bit more specific about what we like to wear what we like to style, how we're wearing things. So send me your photos because honestly, it makes my day to see how you have been styling your pieces. So I have a few new bits to show you and I've been doing a little bit of kind of like holiday planning. I feel like a few of these pieces are going to be so, so perfect to wear whilst I'm away in Rhodes, but also are gonna be great here in the UK as well. So let's get into it. Now I'm gonna start with the teeniest, tiniest box because I know what's in here and I, I'm so, so excited to unbox this with you guys because I feel like I've been on the hunt for this for such a long time. And when I saw this on Pandora, I literally was like, that is exactly what I have been looking for. And I feel like especially for summer, this is gonna be something that I am not going to want to take off. And that is this gorgeous little square diamante necklace. I mean, look at that first of all this looks like you could add about three extra zeros onto the end of the price but this is just the perfect everyday necklace the kind of thing that i can wear every single day but also dress up for an evening i feel like this is one of those necklaces that just epitomizes that like old money aesthetic and this is one of those timeless necklaces it's quite an ageless necklace and i talk about this a lot with regards to my fashion but i feel like a lot of the time with pandora jewelry it also relates like you can wear this necklace when you're in your 20s in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s in your 60s and so on and so forth and i just feel like it's one of those necklaces that is never going to date and when i say that i've been on the hunt for this for such a long time what i mean by that is that i've been really really looking for the perfect everyday necklace that just goes with everything and i really like the pandora brilliance collection you guys know i wear that quite a lot but i do find with the brilliance collection obviously because they are lab grown diamonds sometimes they make me a little bit anxious to wear so i really wanted something that was maybe 
a little bit more affordable but still looked just as beautiful and this necklace oh my goodness sorry about the uh, chesty shop look at that that is just the most perfect thing i think i've ever ever seen the way that the pendant just sits the length of it is gorgeous i feel like it's going to go with so many different like necklines so many different dresses and outfits like this is the kind of thing that you can wear every single day but you can also style up and i also think this is going to be great when i go away to roads because i'm the kind of person on holiday I'm not the most careful with my jewellery and I know that's really really bad but I love having just like a couple of pieces that I can just stick on and not have to worry about taking off not have to worry about switching up too much like I can just wear this when I'm jumping in the pool going down to the beach I can also wear it when I'm going out for the evening like I really don't have to put a lot of thought into it it just looks so so beautiful and it pairs so beautifully with my engagement ring oh my goodness me i honestly feel like i could not have designed a more beautiful necklace myself this is everything that i have been looking for in a necklace recently i am so so happy okay and next up are a couple of bracelets that i wanted to show you and before i show you these actually i was kind of inspired by my favorite earrings now you guys know what i'm like i am such a metal mixer like i love styling different metals together i love putting gold with silver i feel like it just really really works especially when you've done it quite stylized and quite deliberate and these are a pair of hoops that i wear almost every single day you guys will really recognize these because honestly they're in my ears probably about five days out of the week they're just so comfortable and easy to wear i'll put them in actually so you can see exactly how they look and they're like the perfect little pair of huggies they don't hit behind like the back of your ear i hate it you know when you like lying down watching tv or something and you can just like feel the butterfly at the back of your ear they don't hit the back of your ear they're like a full circle they stay on really really well and they're not like a full huggy but they're not like a full hoop so i feel like they are just so perfect i wear these with hair down hair up absolutely everything and because i love them so much i really wanted to create a little bit of a matching set you know i love doing this with pandora whether that's like layering up the same piece in multiple different ways wearing the same item in different metals or going for like the same kind of collection and styling them together so i picked up this gorgeous little bangle now i think this is called the signature bangle and i think these are the signature earrings i will of course leave them all linked down below for you guys i just thought these would be so so perfect style together especially if i'm having like a bit of a kind of no jewelry jewelry day do you ever have those where you literally just want to wear obviously your engagement ring a pair of earrings and maybe one bracelet that's all i want to be doing on like my days off and i feel like this it would be so so perfect so it's this gorgeous little bangle and first of all can you just appreciate how easy that is to get on and off like literally you just kind of put it on like that and what you can also do is tighten the bangle a little bit um like it does have a little bit of flexibility and so if you are worried about it falling off i just love how it looks on your wrist i think it's just so so gorgeous the way that it's got the kind of like thicker bits with the thinner bits i think it just looks absolutely stunning and paired with the earrings is so so cute and as i said i love mixing my metals so i couldn't not just pick up the gold bangle i had to also pick up the silver bangle and what i've deliberately done with these is i've actually got two different sizes and this is another great tip when it comes to pandora jewelry styling don't always get your particular size sometimes it works really really well if you size up a little bit and then your bangles can kind of interact they can like hit into each other and like one can layer over the other and oh my goodness me i just think it looks so much better on them than having like a slinky of bracelets on your wrist like it's so much nicer when they can just move about a little bit more and i love how the silver bangle looks with the gold oh my word that is just beautiful okay moving on to some rings because you guys know how much i love styling and stacking my rings from pandora and i'm having a bit of a silver moment with regards to my rings particularly because i think they just work so so well with the platinum diamond ring so first up i have this one which again actually i didn't even realize this is another matching one you can tell that I had a particular mindset when I was doing this haul, but this is a gorgeous signature Pandora ring and it's got the Pandora written in the side, the same as the bangles have, but it's completely plain over the top. And I just thought, again, this is perfect for those like no jewelry, jewelry days when you just want something super, super simple to wear. I love how that looks. I think that is just so, so gorgeous. Just like completely plain, absolutely no detailing other than like Pandora engraved, but you have to get really, really close in order to see that. I feel like that just works so beautifully. But if you want a little bit more, this is also from like the signature collection, this gorgeous number, it's got diamond 
appliques on it look at that it's almost like i've got like a day and night version of each other i went for a smaller size for the plain one than the diamante one because i did think they might look really nice paired together and they do actually i think that works really really well so you can see the diamante is obviously just giving a little bit more glitz and glamour a little bit more spangle and then the silver one is obviously just completely plain but i think they pair really really well together like i quite like how they look as a stack but i have a couple more to show you so this one is what i've actually had my eye on for quite a long time and i finally picked it up i don't know why i haven't picked it up in the past because it's just so so beautiful it's this really gorgeous to me this is a princess ring like this looks like the kind of thing that rapunzel would have worn i don't know how well you're going to be able to see it but it's got this gorgeous like engraving detail running through it and i just thought that it was so so beautiful so let's pair that together actually i'm going to take the diamante one off and pair it with the plain band and look at that oh my word that is just so gorgeous the way that they stack together i love the fact that obviously you've got the completely plain next to the really really beautiful detailing oh wow that is absolutely gorgeous and then finally an absolute key item in your ring stack is a completely plain silver band now this is from the pandora me collection and this is another thing that i love how many different collections you can look into on pandora i'd say pandora me is definitely more like gen z targeted it's a little bit more affordable in price and some of the designs and patterns and things that they do is really really cool but they also have some like really great basic items so this is just the most simple little plain ring and again it pairs so beautifully with this stack i feel like this just works so so well it looks so much more expensive than it actually is and i just think they are a really really beautiful stack together okay now the last thing i picked up which i don't think i'm gonna wear today because i think they're a little bit too evening-esque for today's look i think i'm gonna keep these gold bands in because i love how they look with the bracelet but just to show the earrings anyway because these are new in and i am so in love with them it's this gorgeous pair of little hoops now these are totally different to the pandora signature hoops let me get them out actually so i can show you i've got all of my jewelry in my stackers box here so these ones are actually from the signature collection so they kind of match a lot of the items that i've been showing you today and the big difference between these is these have diamantes kind of on the front on the, like main part of the earring but then on the side they've got the pandora now let me show you the kind of big difference this one kind of has the diamantes going all the way around can you see that they're like kind of similar i feel like it's focusing a little bit too much on my face but they're kind of similar but then as you turn them to the side totally different and what i really liked about these as well actually is on this side they just have a completely plain silver band so you can wear these earrings however way you want and then if you just turn to the side you see a little bit of the diamante so i feel like there's lots of different ways that you can wear these earrings i definitely think they're a bit more like an evening statement piece for me but they are still just so so beautiful and i feel like they pair really really nicely with the diamante ring and this is what i mean when i say that pandora jewelry just layers so so beautifully together like you can really tell that everything has been really really well thought through like the designs the elements i just love the way that the team work to make sure that everything can be layered and stacked so so beautifully so i'm going to add a couple more pieces to my stack for today just to kind of bring the whole look in together okay so i've just added a couple of more pieces so full jewelry stack of the day i've obviously got the two gorgeous bangles on this wrist which i really really love and then on this hand i've actually gone for a bit more of like a textured look i've done the same thing with the gold and silver because i feel like it works really Really, really well but i've just gone up for a little gold chain bracelet and a silver chain bracelet these are actually from the pandora me collection and i really really love how they look i've then tied in a bit more of that gold aspect so i've actually gone for one of the brilliance rings which i really really love and then i've tied together these rings here so we've got two pandora me rings either side of the gorgeous i'm going to call this my tangled rings it really does remind me of rapunzel from tangled and i love how they all look together i feel like it just pairs so beautifully i've then got the gorgeous just silver necklace and gold earrings so a real mix match of metals today but i love 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 how it looks so all of these will be linked down below for you guys to shop if you want to have a look at any of my favorite pandora pieces but this is my stack for today and i am absolutely loving it i've just realized i haven't actually had a chance to show you yet my new nail color which i had done the other day and i am so so in love with how they look we actually went for something a little bit different from my usual so first of all i changed the shape slightly i've gone for a bit more of a squoval normally i just do a fully round but i have to say i think 
if you have short nails like me or you prefer a shorter nail, Scroval is such a flattering shape. I really, really love how it looks. And then with regards to colour, we've gone for two layers of grapefruit and one layer of negligee and it's given the most beautiful like pearly can you see the way that it kind of like shimmers it's not like a glitter just like a gorgeous sheen oh my goodness me it's like the perfect pearly summer color i feel like this is all i want to be wearing throughout summer on holiday for the rest of the season i am so so happy with how they look i feel like they go so beautifully with all of my jewelry pieces as well but yeah i just wanted to show you my new nails because i am obsessed oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i was not expecting this to arrive today guys you are not ready for this i feel like i really have had holiday summer vibes on my mind i've been updating my wardrobe updating my jewelry my accessories and of course i couldn't not update my bag wardrobe and i have been lusting over this bag for about a year and i finally took the plunge because i do feel like with regards to my holiday wardrobe my summer wardrobe you know what i'm like i'm really big on making it work hard right now making sure that i've got the pieces the accessories in that are going to really really stand the test of time i'm going to get my cost per wear out of and they're going to work hard in my wardrobe and i feel like i've been kind of missing a bag like this in my wardrobe and over the last two summers there is only one type of handbag i want to be wearing and that is a straw raffia handbag they just have my heart i feel like i don't even touch the rest of my bag collection throughout the summer months especially when i am on holiday and there's one colorway that i've been really really lusting over and it has arrived. I literally placed this order two days ago, like literally two days ago. So I wasn't expecting it to come today. So this has been the loveliest, loveliest surprise. I'm gonna unbox this with you because I think it's safe to say this is my dream summer handbag. And in terms of price points, I actually think compared to a lot of the other raffia bags that are out there right now, this is a really, really great price point. So before I blabble anymore, let's unbox this together. Oh my goodness, we have so now I did actually buy this from St. Laurent directly and I was debating whether to go in store but I just really really wanted to make sure that I had this with me in time for my holiday. So I ordered it online and I can confirm that the experience was still just as lovely as I said delivery has literally taken two days to arrive and I think I placed the order quite late into the evening as well. So I think actually working days, it's maybe been one working day since I placed this order. It was free shipping, free delivery, and it's obviously arrived in the big bag and with the YSL dust bag. Oh my goodness, I've just got a hint of this. I've just seen it. Look at my new summer handbag. Oh my goodness me. She is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So it is the classic raffia. I believe this is the raffia bucket bag, but I will leave exactly which handbag it is linked down below because they have lots of different styles, lots of different sizes. And this is a bag that I, as I said, have been lusting over for such a long time. Let me get the little YSL logo because I feel like that is what just makes this handbag is this little little doggy tag that i feel like the silver hardware on it is not like anything else i've ever seen and obviously because i am loving silver at the moment it really really works within the metals that i'm wearing with the jewelry that i am wearing now i am not a big handbag kind of a gal i'm definitely someone that likes like a small to medium sized handbag and I, this is actually the biggest raffia bag that i now have in my collection but i just feel like this is going to be so so perfect for summer for day for night you can dress these up or dress these down and as i said they are all i want to be wearing as soon as the weather hits like over 20 degrees straw handbags are my vibe looking inside i'm actually super impressed to realize that it has a zip pocket i did not realize that it has i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but it's got like a little zippy here so you can put all of your valuables now it is a completely open raffia bag and what i often do with these handbags is i'll actually use the dust bag that it came with to keep things inside of the handbag just to make sure that you've got like a drawstring you can kind of like tie it up a little bit more securely but I just love the fact that it's completely different to any of the handbags I have in my collection It's got a much longer strap so you can wear it a bit more like over the shoulder It's super super casual and one thing that I really didn't want to do with regards to my bag collection Is just kind of have repeats of the same handbag like I know in terms of raffia handbags in terms of straw handbags Loewe just dominates the market and I love my Loewe bag You guys know that I wear that all throughout spring and summer It's got the gorgeous tan leather and I was actually in Loewe the other day when 
when Charlotte bought her handbag and I was really, really eyeing up the black basket bag, but I didn't want to have basically two of the same thing. And that's part of the reason why I bought my Chloe basket bag all the way back in February. I feel like I'm now starting to really, really get my wear out of that. And I really wanted to make sure that I looked further into other brands. And I'm not gonna lie, I was actually really badly shocked at the prices of some of them. Prada have some really, really gorgeous raffia bags, but oh my word, the markup on them is, it's ridiculous. I was not going to spend that amount of money on that material. And this bag is actually under a thousand pounds, which for a raffia handbag, for a straw handbag, is quite rare within the luxury designer markets. That was one thing that drew me to it. Love the fact that it's got the silver hardware. I feel like most brands go for gold these days. So it's really, really nice that it's got that. And it's just all black, which I really, really like about it. It's super subtle, definitely giving quiet luxury vibes, which I really, really love. And I feel like it just ties in so beautifully with all of the jewelry, all of the accessories that I have in my wardrobe. You guys know what I say, black is definitely a summer color. And I feel like I've just been missing the perfect black handbag, black accessory to add into my summer wardrobe. So I am so, so obsessed with my new baby. Just to show you how she looks kind of styled up and on my shoulders so you can get a real feel of the size of the bag. Although saying that, sometimes it can be quite tricky whenever I show you guys things in the mirror because being such a small person, sometimes things look a lot bigger on me, which is why I always opt for smaller handbags. Like this is the smallest size they do. They do do a much bigger version of this, but as you can see, it's like a really, really perfect everyday size for me. I feel like if I'd gone any bigger, it would have just been a little bit over overwhelming on me and this size is just perfect like you can fit everything that you need in here because the strap is a little bit longer I will primarily just be wearing it on my shoulder like this but I really really love how it looks I think I'm going to be wearing it mostly with like black linen black summer dresses but it does also pair really beautifully with white there's just something so classic about a monochromatic look if I am going to be wearing it with a white dress like this I'll probably style it up with my little June slides these are the pair of slides that I got the most wear out of last year and I never had a bag that like fully matched it I am someone that loves matching shoes and handbags like I love it when I've got the same color the same kind of like texture or material with regards to my shoes and bags and apparently that's quite an old-fashioned like viewpoint with regards to fashion I don't really know if it is but for me I love it when they match if I've got shoes bags and a belt matching oh my goodness bury me there that is just like the perfect outfit for me I love 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 how they look together whenever you have like a bit of a matchy matchy situation going going on but honestly I do feel like I'm missing a bag like this in my wardrobe because I got so much wear out of these slides last year I never had any bag that matched or to wear with them so this is how it looks on I am so so in love with it I do feel like this has just been the perfect addition into my spring summer wardrobe oh my goodness I've just lined up all of my straw basket bags to give you a little bit of a size comparison and kind of show you how they all look together and why is it giving me teddy bear picnic vibes like you know when you were a kid and you would line up all of your teddy bears and you get your mum to come in and like you'd have picnics and things like that did anyone else do that <laughs> honestly this has really given me those vibes I feel like a little kid showing off my new collection but this is basically my capsule summer handbag collection like this is all I really want to reach for in summer and as I said I really do feel like I filled every gap I kind of ticked every box and this is all I'm going to be reaching for so again to give you a bit of a size comparison so obviously the new gorgeous little Saint Laurent basket bag it actually isn't too big like compared to the Chloe one it's not a huge huge difference but the way that it's kind of designed the way that it's styled makes it look like a much more like bigger shoulder bag but I love 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 the size of it I feel like it just is so perfect and then next to the Loewe you can see the Loewe is a little bit kind of like smaller and squatter but in terms of what you can fit inside it's probably quite similar and this is the smallest Loewe basket bag that they do so I do feel like I've just ticked all of my boxes now so I've got my gorgeous black one that I'll be able to wear with black linen I'll be able to wear with black accessories this is going to be my like monochromatic one I've got my little Chloe one which actually goes with more than I was expecting I thought this was just going to go with like white accessories white shoes but I can wear this with quite a lot because we've got the tan straps I can wear it with tan because we've got the black writing I can wear it with black and because we've obviously got the neutral like white um, handle I can obviously wear it with white as well so this goes with quite a lot in my collection and because it's so warm as well it's really really good I've then got the Loewe which is my favorite tan accessory like I absolutely love it, it goes so so well with all of my 
tan slides, tan belts, all of that jazz. You know how much I love, especially tan and white or tan black paired together in summer. Oh, it's just my fave. And then my other newest addition into my collection is this gorgeous Charles and Keith. And this is very much like my like white light straw basket bag as you can see especially compared to the Loewe and the Chloe it's so much lighter in tone so it's going to go so so beautifully with like the raffia tones in my wardrobe those look very white light tones so if I'm wanting something really really light and neutral this will be the one that I reach for so my four capsule summer bags I am so in love oh my goodness me I need to display my new baby because she is just so so beautiful she's kind of giving me it's Sophia Richie vibes is it just me I definitely could see it's Sophia Richie wearing this handbag. My goodness me, would you look at that spring sunshine. Oh, we've got to go out in this because I have some updates to show you that I'm so, so excited about. First of all, our wisteria tree. I don't know if you guys will remember, but last year it was absolutely wild. Like it was coming towards the house. I had to really, really train it and like weave it in and out of the pergola. I pruned it a lot. And I am so excited to see that this year we have so many buds. Can you look at this? These are actually flowers. Last year, we, I think we had two flowers in total on the whole wisteria tree. This year, I have lost count of how many there are. There's a lot going up on this. This branch and we have so many going along here can you see them there oh it's just making me so so excited i'm hoping that this is going to be fully in bloom by the end of the week oh i'm really hoping it doesn't bloom whilst i'm away because that will make me really really sad but it is just looking so beautiful already i cannot wait to see it when it is in full bloom and you can see over here our i always forget the name of the cyanothus i think it's called our beautiful blue bush is coming into bloom it's still looking a little bit purple it goes the most beautiful like cerulean blue we all know from the devil wears prada cerulean it just goes the most magnificent blue color the garden is looking so wonderful in the sunshine it's making me very very happy you know summer is here when you're doing caprese salads for lunch and i have even done it with my own homegrown basil i am so happy right now caprese is one of those where i feel like it looks pretty plain looks pretty boring on the plate and it's so easy to make, but my goodness me, is it delicious. It's just tomato, mozzarella, a little bit of basil, drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper, and you are good to go. The perfect lunchtime meal on a beautiful sunny day like today. Seeing as though it is the most beautiful day today, we really want to make the most of the weather. I'm going to head out this afternoon to this gorgeous country estate here in Hampshire. It's called Bewley. It's actually where they have the motor museum. So it's kind of like two birds, one stone. Motor museum for Alex and gorgeous country estate for me. I really want to check out their veg garden. They've got this beautiful like walled English garden. It's an old manor house and an abbey and it's absolutely stunning. It's so perfect just for like a day visit to go for a wander around. It's not quite warm enough to wear open toe today or to be without like any kind of layering. But of course, I am a child, so I have to wear my new handbag today because I am that person. As soon as I get something new, I'm like, I want to wear it straight away. So this is the outfit that I have gone for. And let me know what you think. I am kind of loving it. I feel like it's really giving me that old money aesthetic. And I feel like for a wander around a country park and like a country manor house, this is so, so perfect. So of course, I've got my little YSL basket bag and I've gone for closed toe shoes because it wasn't quite warm enough for the June sandals. So I've actually gone for a pair of ballet flats. This is a pair from Vivaya and honestly these are the comfiest ballet flats you will ever ever own. They don't rub at all, they don't nick, like they are so fab. They're made from recycled plastic bottles but they feel more like a fabric it's almost like a kind of a sock fabric which makes them super super easy to wear so i get a lot of comments whenever i wear these about like oh are they like comfortable how are they feeling honestly they are so so fab so i've got those on and then it just to give me a little bit of extra warmth i've actually just chucked on my little ralphie black cable knit jumper and i feel like it just pairs so so beautifully with the pleated details on the h&m dress this is my gorgeous h&m shirt dress which i didn't really need to introduce 
because you guys have seen it so so much I wear it all the time and it's so perfect for a day like today when I just want to be like nicely covered obviously I want my shoulders covered I want to be a little bit warm but it is quite nice and sunny so I want to bring in those summer vibes so I feel like I'm doing a good job of doing that with this outfit we've got like the warmth of the cable knit I've obviously got closed toe shoes for a little bit more practicality but we've got the gorgeous raffia coming in to bring in those summer vibes so this is my outfit to go and have a lovely afternoon explore at Beaulieu down here in Hampshire. recent ones like 78 that's so abundance of rhubarb oh my goodness me it is the season for rhubarb and look at that old rhubarb for so i don't think there's anything in there no there's not currently anything in there but look oh my word it's huge parsnips oh my goodness me oh my god they've got loads of little seedlings we've got lettuce kale cabbage i'm really hoping that my lettuce is going to look as good as this and it's going to come up into fruition because look how cute this looks oh my goodness me and this beautiful greenhouse this is the tree so we are back home now after the most wonderful afternoon exploring the grounds of Beaulieu. I feel like I look a little bit windswept because it was a little bit windy down at where we were. I feel like I dressed so perfectly though because this spring weather, it's very typical British spring day. We're in the sunshine. It's really warm, really sunny. You want to be wearing as little layers as possible but the second you step into the shade or you step inside, it gets really, really chilly. So I feel like the layers just to be able to like chuck on and off is just perfect perfect but still with the bag bringing in those summer vibes so dressed to perfection and it was just the perfect day to have a wander around like beautiful blue skies with just a little bit of a wind in the air so we wandered around the grounds we went into the palace as well the palace house I think it's called which actually used to be a monastery which is so amazing like there was so much history and I actually got chatting to one of the volunteers there a top tip I would give you if you're someone like me and you love exploring old manor houses country estates things like that 
get talking to the people that work there because even if there's like plaques, even if there's like information around the room, there is never as much information written down as there is is inside of their heads like honestly and most of them are volunteers as well so like they're in their own time and they want to have a chat like they want to embark all of their knowledge onto you and i got chatting to one of the ladies there and she was so so lovely she told me so much history about the house what used to be a monastery and apparently they were silent monks and we both cracked up laughing because i was like i could never she was like me neither so they were silent monks that worked there and they were like farmers they farmed the land she said that they were like ingenious businessmen as well because obviously they needed to make sure that they were able to keep the monastery running so they never ate any meat but they farmed sheep and they would export them obviously for the business apparently the lake that's like just across they call it a pond because it's not quite big enough to be a lake they actually made it into a lake it's actually tidal and they would mill the water again for money like honestly it was so so interesting and then it actually got bought out and it was given to the earl of Montgomery was the Earl of Montgomery it was the Montgomery family it was given to him as a wedding gift like he was literally given an entire estate as a wedding gift which is so insane so he was the one that converted it into basically the old manor house the kind of country estate that it is now and as you can see like it really is like a family estate you could literally see all of the family's heights which was just the cutest thing like it even went up into like the 70s like it was really really recent some of them it was absolutely insane and i just absolutely loved wandering around like seeing all the rooms the history and it was quite sweet as well because they did have a lot of notes from montgomery himself saying like here you can see my parents so obviously the montgomery who is alive now you can, like, you can see my parents oh this is what the room used to look like like they changed the wallpaper and things like that it's just incredible and of course i was transfixed by their veg and walled garden it was just absolutely incredible seeing what veggies they're growing at the moment it's making me very very inspired to get growing my own i cannot wait for my seeds to start sprouting in my veg truck so that we can get some real harvests this year it was so exciting having lunch with the basil from my own basil plants like honestly i absolutely loved it so it was a really really lovely afternoon i've actually come home to a rather exciting delivery from zara now i don't think i'm going to try on all of the pieces with you now because i usually like doing the try-ons when i'm a bit more fresh faced and feeling a little bit more i don't know alive but we have some really really gorgeous holiday pieces in here so i'm going to try these on with you tomorrow however i won't lie there was one thing that i was just so so excited to get opening and unboxing i'm going to show you now because this is probably the cutest bag i could be adding into my spring summer wardrobe and i wanted to show you it because because you guys are going to want to snap this up. I have a feeling it's going to be sold out already because it literally got released the day before I placed my order and it was already saying low in stock, but it is this gorgeous mother of pearl bag. I mean, how perfect is this going to be to take away with me to Rhodes? And how perfectly does it match my jewelry? It's like a really, really gorgeous gold hardware and it goes so perfectly with the Pandora pieces, but it's just got a little pot closure i believe and it does actually come up with a little cross body strap as well so you can wear it cross body but i just love the little top handle like for me i just want to wear it like this for all of like my evening meals my nights out when i'm away on holiday i feel like this is going to be the perfect like wedding guest bag as well if you've got any weddings to attend so i just wanted to show you that so i'm going to save the rest of the haul and try on for tomorrow morning i think i'm going to hunker down for the rest of the evening i might even grab a book and do some reading outside because the sun is still shining and it just puts me in the best mood so i'm going to pick back up with you guys tomorrow and i'll show you what i've been picking up from zara good morning everyone it is the next day now and i am rocking a little bit of a sophia ritchie inspired slick back bun today and especially on hair wash days i am really really enjoying a bit more of a slick back bun and especially once you've styled it up and added some jewelry pieces i feel like it looks really chic pulled together like it doesn't look like oh it's hair wash day it looks like you've made a real effort so i've just added the gorgeous hoop earrings that i showed you yesterday the little like diamante one and I love how these look with a slick back bun. I do like how they look with hair down as well, but especially with a slick back bun, I feel like they're the perfect hoop size. I personally am not someone that loves wearing massive, like huge hoops. I like something a little bit smaller, a little bit more timeless and classic, and I feel like these are just perfect. Not too small, still noticeable, and just a great way of elevating your looks. I do find that the second you kind of like pulled your hair back, it's almost like there's nothing to kind of frame your face. It's almost like a little bit of a face frame 
and just a little bit of accessorizing with the look. I'm not gonna lie, the dress that I'm wearing, it's this gorgeous little neck number. I actually feel like because of the polka dots, kind of lends itself to not wearing a necklace. So I've kept that fairly simple. The fact that I've got no necklace on, just the earrings with the slick back bun, I feel like it really, really works. I'm wearing my new bangles again today because I absolutely love how they look and I feel like they pair so beautifully with the brilliance ring. So the way that I've kind of tied this all in together, I've gone for a mainly silver look today. So I'm wearing two of my favorite bracelets on this hand. This is the snake chain uh, bangle, which I wear all the time. And then I've got this one, which is like a multi-layered bangle. This is like my favorite stack and one of my most complimented jewelry stacks ever. So I've got these two on this hand and then I've paired them up with a brilliance ring to tie in the gold on this hand so I feel like it's a real great way of like tying in the entire look together but you can see behind me that I have got these Zara pieces out ready to show you I've been steaming them this morning because they are pretty much all linen material or like a linen mix because I have holiday on my mind now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep all of these pieces but let's get into the Zara haul I want to show you what I picked up so the first thing I picked up is something that I've been on the hunt for for so so long I do feel like with regards to my summer holiday wardrobe I'm really wanting to add in pieces that are very timeless very classic that aren't going to date I'm just going to want to bring out of my wardrobe year on year and I have been wanting to add something like this into my wardrobe for ages and I've never quite found the right one and that is a gorgeous little tie up linen shirt now if you can see here it's just got like the little detail here and I really really love these I've got a black one in my wardrobe that I've had for quite a long time and I bring it out every single summer because especially when it's like hot you don't really want to be wearing a bra you can just tie it up at the middle wear some like loose linen trousers maybe even like denim shorts I feel like it just looks so so cute and because it's not like a trend led item it's the kind of thing that never dates and you can bring out of your wardrobe year on year now I am not the biggest midriff kind of a gal like I don't really like having a lot of skin showing so what I really really liked about this one is it's got quite a long back so at the back it almost just looks like a usual shirt but then at the front that's where you get the tie detail so I thought it was really really gorgeous love the collar love the fact that it's long sleeve my one concern with this is the material is quite sheer I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but my hand is pretty visible through this so I'm thinking if I'm just wanting to wear like nipple covers and just wear it as is I'm not entirely sure if that's gonna work I might have to layer up underneath it with a cute little bralette but we'll see how it works but I thought this could be a great piece to add into my holiday wardrobe I am actually so so happy with this shirt oh my goodness me it is not nearly as see-through as I thought it was going to be as I was holding my hand up to it I thought you can see everything through I'm gonna have to wear some layers underneath but actually I currently just have nipple stickers on and I feel like you can't see a thing which is a fab because I'm the kind of person especially in summer especially on holiday I don't like underwire and I want to be as like free and as loose as possible I basically want to be as like little layered as as possible but still nice and secure and comfortable and I feel like this is giving it the exact vibes that I wanted so I'm super super happy I love the fact that it's long sleeves I feel like it makes it really classy and I love the fact that the way it kind of like sits on me despite the fact that it's this really really long low V you can't really like see anything there's no like cleavage or anything like that and it has the smallest amount of midriff I've ever ever seen I've tied it in like a big bow you could just do like a double knot if you wanted a little bit more midriff you can kind of tie it wherever you want like if you want to tie it here and have a lot more belly showing that is totally up to you but paired with this gorgeous pair of linen trousers it just sits so so nice and I've actually just tucked the back in so that it just has no skin showing at the back and I love how that looks so I'm really happy with this I think this is going to be a perfect piece to take with me on holiday and the kind of thing that I can bring out of my wardrobe year on year. Next up it's kind of same same but different I saw this one online and just thought it was so so cute it was actually recommended to me when I picked up that white one and it's this gorgeous just really like natural kind of colored linen tie shirt so again it's got this like tie detail but it's quite different to the other one it's more of like a wrap and it looks like it's a little bit thicker material although actually I can still just about see my hand through but I thought this was another really really cute option I don't actually have anything in my wardrobe that's like
like this in the color or the kind of style and again paired with like cute little linen trousers maybe some denim shorts would be really really cute i've actually spotted a really gorgeous pair of linen trousers that are more this kind of material and more this kind of color so that might be really cute to add together and wear it as more of like a set we could give that a try but another gorgeous little summer top the kind of thing that i feel like i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of shirt number two what do we think i actually think it's super super cute sometimes i do have to be careful with these kind of like new tones being a lighter skinned girl it can really wash me out but i actually think this looks really really nice i do have fake tan on i even faked hand at my stomach so i knew i was going to be showing you lots of cropped pieces and i feel like with the fake tan it works really really well i love the little collar my one concern i don't know if you can see it but this one because this isn't an adjustable tie this one just goes into a button it's a little bit looser whereas this one i've been able to tie a bit tighter but i don't know if that's something that's like only i would ever notice that i think it would work really really well especially if i got a pair of matching trousers like it looks cute with the linen the white linen trousers it's sweet it's nice but i feel like with a matching pair of trousers that could bring in this entire look together so let me know your thoughts what do we think of the second shirt now the next top i kind of picked up under the assumption that i'm not going to keep both it's either going to be one or the other so it will either be at the first one i showed you or i will keep this my main concern with this one is it doesn't actually have an adjustable tie and i do quite like having that because you can like cinch it in pull it in as much as possible but when i saw this one on zara i just thought it was so so cute so it's another little kind of like tie cropped top it's got completely different sleeves they're a bit more fluted actually looking at this it looks almost a little bit more elevated maybe a bit more evening wear i think this could be really really cute for like nights when you're over on holiday and you just want to wear really comfortable timeless looks but still look elevated i'm also picturing some like gorgeous jewelry style with this i feel like some layered pearl necklaces would look amazing so i'm going to try them both on see which one we prefer you'll have to let me know in the comments whether i should keep this one or the first one i showed you well i'm not gonna lie to you guys this has made my life rather difficult because i wasn't expecting to love both of these little wrap tops but i do i think they are so so cute and I'm kind of questioning, do we think they're different enough that I can justify keeping both? I feel like this one's giving me more like evening vibes. The fact that it's got the really like floaty sleeves and the kind of material of it with being more of like a satiny material rather than linen. It's kind of making me feel like it's more evening wear. Even though I've paired it with the same trousers, it's kind of taking the look from day to night. So is it different enough to justify keeping both? Let me know. But look at what I've done. I've just added a couple of gorgeous Pandora necklaces to give that like a real holiday aesthetic. I can actually lower this pearl one if you wanted it to go a little bit further down i think that would look so so gorgeous but i just stacked two pearl necklaces together and i love how it looks like this is exactly what i want to be wearing whilst i'm away in rose i think it's just so so beautiful this is one of the pandora me necklaces and i really love the fact that it's like half chain half pearl it kind of makes it less like your grandmother's pearls and more like contemporary pearls and i also love the pendant as well i think it just looks so so beautiful i always get questions about the pendant actually whenever i link it but basically you buy the pendant separately to the chain which is why I have a silver one and a gold one so I can wear them depending on what kind of materials I'm wearing that day what metals I'm wanting to mix but how cute is this I think it's just absolutely gorgeous so please let me know if you think I can justify keeping both basically i want you to enable my shopping habits but honestly it's just so so cute i don't want to return it if i like it i'll just get it in another color honestly i am the worst when it comes to that but if i like something i like something so when i saw that they did this top in black as well i just had to pick it up because you know what i say black is a summer color i love black for summer and i'm feeling this again inspired with like some linen trousers but like black linen would look really really nice and black wide leg trousers, little sandals, and my new YSL bag. I mean, how cute would these look together for more of like an evening outfit when I'm away in Rhodes? I just thought this would go so, so beautifully. So of course, if I like it, I picked it up in another color because that's just what I love to do when it comes to my wardrobe. <laughs> well, it is safe to say that this top is going nowhere. Oh my goodness me. I am so, so in love with the black version of this top. I think they are just the cutest things in the world. I love the way that it sits, especially with the jewelry. I think it's just so, so gorgeous. And look at what I've 
compared it with I've brought these out from the archives if you guys have been around for a while you'll probably remember these from last year's gorgeous pair of trousers from Zara they're like a really really stunning linen I don't actually have any black linen trousers so I need to have a look online for some so let me know the best places to shop for them I might see if Zara have any but I'm gonna have a look for some black linen trousers because I feel like they would just complete the look if this was like all black but I've paired it with my June slides and I kind of love how the green looks with the black of the top and if we complete the look with my new YSL how cute is this it's kind of just giving me like wandering around the markets having an explore when you're away on holiday kind of vibes and I am loving it I feel like this is just the perfect holiday outfit it feels so me very like light and flowy quite cool but still very true to my own personal style so I'm loving how this looks I feel like I've just styled it up so perfectly if I do say so myself but yeah this top is definitely staying in my wardrobe and then of course we've got the bag that I showed you yesterday the gorgeous little mother of pearl handbag like this honestly looks so much more expensive than it actually is it looks more like a Miu Miu bag which I really really like about it so again this would be perfect for evenings and because it's so tiny it's like a really easy one to take with me so absolutely in love with this as well I feel like Zara is just such a dangerous place to be right now because they just have so many gorgeous pieces in for summer so if you're going on holiday anytime soon definitely check out the new inn I'll of course leave what I picked up down below in the description box as well and for size reference I got everything in a medium and fit wise was great I feel like they are improving with their fit at the moment sometimes they can be a bit hit or miss but all of those pieces were perfect in terms of fit but I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because I have a feeling it's gotten long enough we've had a lot of newness to show you guys I really hope you enjoyed unboxing my new baby with me and styling up some new Pandora pieces honestly I'm so so obsessed with the new bits that I have been adding into my collection so if you got to the end of this video I would love to know are you a gold jewelry girl or a silver jewelry girl comment down below gold or silver because I always find it so so interesting to know I would definitely say I am predominantly a silver jewelry girl but I do add love just adding this little pops of gold and I feel like it really really works especially with regards to just Pandora's ethos of like layering and stacking and styling I absolutely love it so comment down below whether you are a silver jewelry girl or a gold jewelry girl I would love to know I hope you have a love evening and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!